Are you uncertain about when the right time is to make your move? I mean, come on, honestly, let's be real for a minute. Does anyone really wake up going, man, I can't wait to move today? Yeah, I don't, I've not yet met that person in my 21 plus years of real estate because there's more to a move than just moving. It's not that simplistic, right? You've got your emotions that are tied to your home. You've got the effects of your family that this move is going to take. You've got financial decisions that you need to make. You've got that uncertainty potentially of, is it the right time to make that move right now? Rates are still higher. When is that sweet spot? When is that perfect time to make the right move? Because you just want to make that right decision. Well, today we're going to talk about the cost of waiting. And did you know that in 1971, when we had higher rates, if we were to wait or if you were to wait until rates came down, you would have been waiting till 19. 93. That's over 22 years of not reinvesting in another appreciating asset or even appreciating in your first asset of your primary home. And during that time, between 1971 and 1993, home prices quadrupled. So, this is a real conversation to have about the costs of waiting. So knowing when to pause your move or pursue and act on your next move is absolutely crucial and detrimental to wealth building for you and your family. Over the last couple of years, we've had record lows in the amount of transactions. And what is forecasted for the rest of this year of 2024 in quarter three, we're anticipated to have an increase of 25% of real estate transactions volume wise. And in quarter four, we're expected to see an increase of 40%. Now, this goes against the grain of the last 30 years of what we've seen in a traditional real estate market, which is why it's important that you get information from your local real estate professional. Can you imagine if you didn't know this information and you waited until next spring to buy or sell? These key points are imperative in making an informed decision for you and your family's future. You've got more buyers coming to the market due to pent up buyer demand and change of demographics and sellers wanting to move being closer to family, friends, or wanting to have a second home, a vacation home, and transition into retirement. So knowing the fact that with more buyers coming to the market with a foreseeable rate decrease and increase in inventory coming to the market, this hugely affects your ability to buy the competition and appreciation that you're going to see in the forthcoming months and next year. The other important factor when you're considering cost of waiting is the cost of equity lost. It is known by a survey that was done by the Fed back in 2019, a Federal Reserve study that was done, that homeowners have a net worth median of $255,000 and renters have a net worth of $6,300. And this was largely due to the fact of home ownership. Home ownership is a wealth builder. I know I wouldn't have the assets and the appreciation and equity that I have today if I had not invested in real estate. It's never too late to start. I didn't start well, I had to start over in my 40s. And so it's never too late to start. And I'm a huge believer in wealth generation, not just for your generation, but future generations. So please click the link below. Let's schedule a call to get your questions answered on what might be your next best move.